CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss how to write a C program to print an integer value. So the program is C program to print an integer value. So how to write a program to print an integer value. So the first line in C program is by default header file. The standard header file is hash include within angle bracket stdio.h. This represents standard input and output files. Whatever we are using, that should be supported by C library. For that purpose, we are using this header file. Next, we are not going to use any global variables. So, no need to declare global variables here. And also, if you are using any user-defined function, that user-defined function should be declared here. We are not going to use any user-defined function also. So, no need to declare the user-defined function here. So, directly go to main function. Void main. So, the first line within main function is the declaration statements. That is local declarations. Whatever the local declarations is required for this program to execute, that should be declared here. Here, our aim is just to print an integer value. Okay. So, int a equal to 20. Here itself, I am declaring a variable a as an integer data type and also I am assigning a value to that integer variable a as 20. Okay. Then, use printf statement print of integer value equal to what is the format specifier for integer it is percentage d okay then comma what is the variable that will store the value the variable name is a okay and then the statement should end with a semicolon okay and then simply use a return statement that's it now, if you are executing this program in the sense, it will print integer value is 20. Okay, instead of here, this percentage D, what is the value stored with the variable A, that will be printed here. So, this is the output. Suppose, for the same program, if I want to accept the input with the help of the input terminal in the sense, how to write the same program? In that case, just declare an integer variable A and then Print up statement just to type the message enter a value. Okay. And this should end with a semicolon. Every statement, every single statement in C program should end with a semicolon. Except a few statements. That is if statement, for statement, while loop, likewise the header file, void main function, and also the, the first line in user defined function. These and all should not end with a semicolon. All other statements should end with a semicolon. That is the basic rule in C program. So, just in the output screen, it will print a message, enter a value. Then, to accept the a value, use the scanf statement. Scanf, and what is the data type here? It is an integer data type. So, we have to use percentage d. Then, comma, to accept any input, we have to use along with that variable ampersand symbol ampersand and then variable name. This ampersand symbol represents the address of the memory location where this variable value will be stored. Okay, to refer its address, we have to use this ampersand symbol and then semicolon. Okay, now this printf statement is as it is. Now we will run the program. So here it is asking enter a value. Suppose here I am entering 30 in the sense. See here it will display integer value equal to 30. So, here, whatever the message you are typing, suppose here, any message you can able to type, the integer value is, okay, without equal symbol. So, this is the message. In this way, I want to display the output in the sense, just whatever it is required, you can type as it is within this printf statement. And only instead of this format specifier, it will print the integer value stored with the variable a okay so now if you are running this program in the sense enter a value we have to enter a value here 25 see here the integer value is 25 likewise it will display in what way we need to display the output likewise accordingly we can write the c code okay the message also we can write accordingly 
see here without this print up statement also we can able to enter a value and display the value the purpose of this print up statement is just it will show the message to the user what it has to enter suppose without this print up statement if you are running the program in this and see here simply in the output screen it will display the user come to know we have to enter the input value here suppose here i am entering 24 in the sense see here it is displaying the value integer value was 24 see whatever it is whatever the statements it is required accordingly we can able to design the c program but the only thing is we should know the rules what is the format for each and every statement that we should know okay Suppose, if I want to display two integer values, in that case, what we have to do? Just here, declare two variables, A and B. Two integer values we want to display. So, declare the first variable as A and second variable as B. Any variable name you can able to give. Okay. Even first, second also, first variable. So, first, second variable, you can declare it as second. Likewise, also you can give. Whatever the variable name we wanted to use, that should be declared first. Any variable name you can able to give except keywords. Okay. Here, enter the variable name as first. Now, we have declared the variable name as first and second. Okay. So, enter the first and second value. Okay. So, this is in printf statement. In scanf statement, we have to enter and accept two variable values, two integer values. So, Two percentage D you have to use. So, first percentage D is used to accept the first variable, and second percentage D is used to accept the second variable value. Okay. And here, Amberson variable name is first, comma, Amberson second. Okay. And here, to display the integer value, the integer value is percentage D and percentage t two values we want to display okay and the variable name is first comma second so now if you are running and executing the program see here enter first and second value see whatever the message we want to display give within double quotes using print of statement okay so first value we wanted to enter here is i am entering 50 and second value i am entering 100 okay see here it will display the integer value is 50 and 100. Suppose if you want to display the first value in one line and second value in another line in the sense, here we will do like this. The integer value first equal to percentage D. Okay. Similarly, here only one variable name you can use. And in as a second statement, use another printf statement and within double quotes, the integer value second equal to this is also percentage d okay and variable name is second end with semicolon now you run the program enter the first value 50 and second value i'm entering it as 100 the integer value first is equal to 50 and the integer value second is equal to 100 See, if I want to display as a separate line in the sense, see here, here you have to include slash n. That's a new line character. If you are entering slash n here in the sense, then if you are executing in the sense, see here, first value is 50, second value is 100 in the sense, see here. The integer value first is equal to 50, integer value second is equal to 100. Okay. Suppose here the input statements, this printf and scanf is nothing but the input statements. These input statements separately we want to accept the first integer value and second integer value separately in the sense. How we can able to write enter first value and here just use one scan of statement and accept the first value. Okay. Then this these two statements again repeat for accepting second value. That is print f enter second value and here, it has to display in new line in the sense, use the new line character. Wherever you want to display new line in the sense, enter new line character. See here, enter the first value, then in the next line, it will accept the first value. Similarly, enter second value, in the next line, it will accept the second value. Now, if you are executing the program in the sense, so enter first value, 
some value you can enter. Enter second value, 150 I am entering here. See here. Enter first value, we have entered 50. Second value, we have entered 150. So, the integer value first is equal to 50 and the integer value second is equal to 150. Likewise, we will get the output. Okay. So, if you are considering here in what way we want to present the output in the output screen, accordingly, we can be able to write the C code. Okay. This knowledge you will gain by experience only. You have to write and practice the C code and then check the output. If you are getting an error in this, debug the errors. So, you will gain knowledge only by practice. So, practice the C code initially by writing the simple C programs. Then automatically you will get the C knowledge. Okay. So, this is an example for C programs to print an integer value. Thank you for watching this video.